Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. So Andy Cruz makes his pro debut against Juan Carlos Burgos and wins a 10 round decision. Two judges had it uh, 100 to 90, one had it 98 to 92. I sort of gave uh, Burgos, I think, one one round. Maybe, might have been the third, I can't remember which one it was offhand. But even that was pushing it. I mean, this was an exemplary performance by Andy Cruz. And to be honest, I don't think those of us that have seen Cruz as an amateur and, you know, seen him a little training session clips and everything, it, it wasn't a surprise. He looked like he'd been a professional for years. I mean, the guy is, I think he's 27, 28 years old now. Um, Burgos has never been stopped before, wasn't likely to get stopped this time. Uh, he now slips to 35 wins with 21 KOs, um, eight defeats, all on points. And, you know, the guy's gone the distance with Devin Haney, with Mike, Mikey Garcia. In his previous fight, he went the eight-round distance with Kershawn Davis, Keyshawn Davis, who is um, Andy Cruz's rival, amateur rival. They fought four times and Cruz won the lot. But Cruz, look, it was, <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, you very rarely see a guy with this level of talent. And... Even though I don't believe in jumping the gun, I mean, this guy's got all the materials to totally dominate the lightweight division for, for years to come, certainly for the next five years. Um, now, OK, you can say Burgos is past it. That's true, but he's not shot. Not by a long, not by a long shot. Um, Cruz was toyed with him. He was so much faster. His footwork was beautiful. All sorts of angles completely controlled the range. But he's got spike to his, his work as well, Cruz. This isn't like Rigondeau. I mean, Rigondeau could be clinical when the mood took him, but he would be quite content to just box, box, box. With Cruz, he wants to stop you. And he was trying to stop Burgos. You know, um, Bozy um, Ennis, the, in the, the trainer of Cruz, said between the sixth and seventh round, right, you know, try and stop him now. You, you, you've won every round. Go, go stop him. And he was putting it on Burgos, and Burgos is such a tough man. I mean, frighteningly tough guy. Um, and Cruz did, Cruz did have him, you know, sh shaken up in the was it the seventh and the, I want to say the ninth. But but at the same time, Burgos, although he was was putting out a few minor distress signals, he wasn't. There's no quitting this guy, and he wasn't gonna. You'd have to knock him flat. And in fact, he finished the fight, Burgos, by <laughs> by doing a cheeky, very low left hook to the groin. Uh, <laughs> and you know, he had uh, Cruz on the ropes, and he was you know railing away. And so he, he you know, this, the guy's not not. He's not a shot fighter. He's he's a gatekeeper now. He's picking up paychecks. He's 35. He's from Tijuana, Mexican, tough as old boots. Um, and this 10 rounds will be absolutely invaluable for Andy Cruz. This was a brilliant piece of matchmaking because they were always going to fast track Cruz, give him a 10. I, th I thought they started start him off with an 8 round, but 10 round, I mean, that really is fast tracking him. And this 10 rounds is, is absolutely invaluable. But make no mistake about it, Cruz looked completely relaxed in there, went for the knockout, went through his entire repertoire of punches, beautiful jab, so fast, um, great hooks, Beautiful footwork, plants his feet beautifully. I mean, there isn't, there aren't really any chinks in the armour. And it's going to take a very, very special fighter to beat him uh, if he stays dedicated and motivated and, you know, doesn't start enjoying that sort of, you know, um, <laughs> a few of the Western delights having come over from Cuba, like some of them have done in the past. They've gone a bit too fond of putting the feet up. If Cruz doesn't do that, if he stays dedicated to his craft he's going to be very difficult to beat and he also into the bargain he won the IBF um, international lightweight title which is one of those trinkets but it, it gets you it gets you a ranking and there aren't many lightweights right now who are going to beat Cruz I'm telling you now I mean you know would I stick him in with Haney next fight no would I stick him in with I don't know who else we got um Shakur next? No, I wouldn't put him in that quickly. But I said during my preview, you know, the guy's going to be looking for world titles after about five or six fights. And I think that that's the case. I think another few 10 rounders, you know, against this, this quality of opposition will be fantastic for Cruz. Absolutely fantastic. You want someone who's going to hit him back. And in fairness, Burgos did try to hit him back quite frequently. He just wasn't quick enough. And he just he couldn't really do anything with, with Andy Cruz. Uh, so, yeah, you might have gathered I'm kind of high on Andy Cruz. <laughs> I think a lot of people are. Brilliant performance. Really, really good. Go and watch it. It was on DAZN. 
Um, it's on the undercard of uh, Baumgardner and um, Leonard Datu, but make no mistake about it, Andy Cruz is going to be a headliner because even though he's such a beautiful boxer, there is, like I say, there's some spite, there's some aggression to, to his work. And I see no reason why he can't be a big star. This won't be like a Rigondeaux who never really took off in a commercial sense. If he's promoted right and Eddie Hearn promotes fight as well, then I think Andy Cruz will be a will be a big star and make some serious money and win plenty of world titles. You know, terrific stuff. Anyway, let me know what you think. Comments below. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you could do that, hit the subscribe button. It takes you a split second. You'll be doing us a big favour. And also hit the... Um, Hit the like button, that helps us out, and spread the word about Joe Stunner Boxing. I appreciate your time. I'm looking forward to reading your comments and I'll answer them. Bye for now.